What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Just Knock Smith channel. In today's video, all of you 6.0 and some of you 7.3 guys, these headlights, you can actually do the 6.0 conversion on your headlights and run 6.0 headlights. So pretty much 99 to 07 F250s, this is possible, but 05 through 07, it's 100% possible and just a bolt-in application. You know, like I said, if you have a 04 and back to 99, you will have to do a couple modifications to your header panel and stuff like that to actually get these to work, but it's possible. Down in the description box down below, you'll be able to click a link and purchase these for yourself. Um, so here they are turned on and they look so, so good turned on guys. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put these in the truck, which is four 730 seconds screws. So we're gonna come right up here and these old uh, headlights that I paint matched a while back, a little over a year ago, they're starting to peel and stuff. So I'm going to take out all the bolts that hold those on, also the grill. Um, you will have to take off the grill. There's four clips down here on the bottom and there's four bolts at the top. So you just pop that grill out and then you'll be able to take the two screws out of the bottom and two screws out of the top on that headlight and pull that headlight out. So I'm only gonna put one of them in because these, because I am going to actually take apart these Yita motor headlights and I'm gonna paint match them. And while I have them apart, I'm also going to take apart the headlights that are already in my truck over here. And I'm gonna see if these clear reflectors will go in so I don't have to paint these reflectors. I think it'll look really nice if I can get those clear reflectors in there. Um, if they don't work, then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint these reflectors because I definitely don't want any orange in there. Um, and then everything that's black inside of here will be paint matched the same color as my truck. Not sure on that just yet, so stay tuned to the video. Um, we're also gonna be building a set of tail lights in this video as well. So we've got a lot of good content in this video, so make sure that you stay tuned. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these headlights out and put one of the other ones in just to kind of look and see uh, how much I like these on the truck and see the fitment and everything. The fitment of these, they're just cheap Amazon headlights. The fitment on these is good. So I don't see these not fitting. I'm sure they're kind of all made off of the same mold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and show you how they look and compare them. I'm gonna put this one over here, the Yita motor in. And then I'm gonna leave this one over here, this factory one that's already in here, and kind of show you the difference and show you like a front end shot. I really dig it. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do just yet with the white. Anybody can buy these and paint match them. So there's gonna be like a little line through here to where it kind of doles down the white to where there's not so much white. Um, if you did have a white truck, you wouldn't have to do that. I feel like if you had a black truck, you wouldn't have to do that. But I think on my truck, that it's red, gray, you know what I mean? So I don't really want the white exposed right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the tail lights that I have. So just stay tuned and you'll probably see a couple time lapses and stuff. And I will talk here and there, but it's gonna be kind of messy because we're crunching for rod run and trying to get ready. But yeah, the Yita motor headlights, super, super nice. All of the bulbs fit in there perfect. The fitment and everything is super tight. It'll get actually even tighter than that once they're bolted in. But all the fitment and everything's super nice. They seem like really, really good quality and I would recommend them. Very, very highly recommend them. So make sure y'all get in the description box down below and you're gonna wanna go pick up a set of those after you watch this video, I promise.
All right, guys, so I don't even remember what all I've filmed and what all you've watched up until this point, but we have been crunching hard for rod runs. I changed my upper and lower ball joints um, on the driver's side because one of them had a little bit of play in it, uh, a little bit of slop in it, so I did change both of them while I had it apart. Scott's truck, we painted his rear shocks, cleaned the back sides of his wheels, installed an eight-piece DBA rock light set. I also installed an eight-piece DBA rock light set on my truck as well. Um, but this video, I wanted to kind of devote to these headlights, guys. Yeeta Motor absolutely killed it on these headlights, and I just took it to the next level. These are, I don't care what anybody says, these are my favorite 6 headlights that I've ever seen. And I may be kind of biased because I just now busted my ass to get these things to look the way that they look. But in my opinion, if you had left that big white piece, if you had a white truck, you might could pull it off. I just think that the white piece was too wide as it was. So doing the paint match on that and making that line kind of curve and the line is very subtle, it's not too thick. Um, just look at this guys, it looks so freaking good. Like holy crap. And what I also done was this light down here is normally a parking light, like a running light. And I cut the power wire on that and spliced it into these parking lights. But it still does have the flasher wire attached to it. So whenever the truck has just the parking lights on, you've got the mirror lights, you've got the rock lights that are on a switch, you've got these that are tied in with the parking lights, you've got the starlight headliner inside that's on a switch, you've got the cab lights that are tied in with the parking lights. And then whenever I hit my turn signal, this bottom light will blink orange, that top light will blink orange, and my tailgate uh, turn signal uh, strip. We do not have the new tail lights in, um, but anyway, that's all that I have to do is actually wet sand the lens and then spray another coat of clear on one of them. Just one of them I messed up, um, but I'm probably going to go ahead and wet sand both of them and go ahead and flow cut both of them so then they're just that much uh, more heavy duty. And then, like I said, now we have three lights in each fender wheel. We still don't have our frame plates on just yet, so don't pay any attention to that. We will be getting those here soon, very, very soon. Um, but I've got a rock light right here. A rock light right here and a rock light up there. So we've got one right in the center, one on each side, like that, pretty much. And that's in each fender wheel. So each fender wheel has three rock lights now. And then we've got um, the 12 that are underneath the truck. So one, two, three, two, uh, three in the front, two in the back. And I don't think that I'm going to leave the one in the center. Maybe I will. I really don't feel like fooling with it. Um, so maybe I'll leave the one in the center, but I had planned on actually taking the ones that were in the center and putting them underneath the truck to light underneath the truck even more. Um, but it looks really, really good. I am so pumped. For the next couple of days, we will be uh, at Rod Runs in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're gonna be getting a lot of content down there, guys, so make sure that you stay tuned. We're going to the Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. Um, I think this video is gonna do awesome. I hope that you all enjoyed these 6 headlights. I'll try to get a couple pictures or maybe a couple videos in the daylight. I know I don't really have any good quality photos of them, but I will try to get that and put them at the end of this video. Um, but you all see them at nighttime. That's kind of where they shine and look so awesome, but they look good in the daytime too. Uh, and you only have that little minimal white strip since I did paint match like the border on it. And then I'm doing my tail lights the same way. So that'll be in one of the next videos, but huge shout out to Yeeta Motor. Um, huge shout out to Yeeta Motors um, on these awesome headlights. I really, really appreciate it, you guys. You guys killed it on these headlights. And like I said, I just took them to the next level. They look so freaking good. Color match, the same color as the truck with that white pinstripe. And I also took my old headlights, robbed the clear reflectors out of them, swapped out the orange reflectors with the clear reflectors. So they do swap over if you have uh, some clear reflectors out of some other aftermarket headlights. So I think that they look so awesome. But anyway, guys, always remember, everybody starts as nobody, and I will see you on the next one. Stay tuned right quick. I'm going to throw up some clips and some photos of these lights during the daytime. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.